job. Stay. 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 Fetch it up. Hi, Harvest. Hey, Harvest. Here we are again. Same place, different day. Waiting for this quarantine to finish so we can go back to our normal life. <laughs> Anyways, we can keep this going for a long time with provision stories of how God has provided for us. So when Roy and I married a long, long, long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. I thought I was marrying a dentist because in those days when we were getting married and we were dating, that is what Roy was pursuing, dentistry. So the day we got married, he was going to be a dentist and he was in university. So we got married in a second year university. And so I was doing a pre-med program at University of Western yeah. Ontario and... and you are well on your way. Yeah, starting. Right. I think on my way to apply for that whole, I just don't want to, you know, that I was a dentist or in dental school, but that was kind of, that was kind of the goal. And you were banking on that. And I was really banking on that. Oh yeah. And then God, uh, God spoke to us about giving our lives uh, to ministry. And I was so excited about that. I was one year away from finishing the degree. Yeah. And I was saying, let's let's go now. Let's forget the forget the. I don't I don't need this biology degree. Let's just go off to Bible college. Remember that? Because you I were happy with that. I put a halting stop to it immediately and said, Are you nuts? Why would you ever not finish that degree? You're in the middle of it. At least finish your 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 degree and graduate from that part of your life in university. So as always, you're wiser than I am <laughs> and, <laughs> and help me learn principles through the years. And this is the principle we want to share with Why you. Why don't you learn? I, I, I'm trying. <laughs> so the principle we want to share with you today is that when we believe God for provision, when we're believing God for a miracle, may not be a provision miracle, it could be any kind of a miracle. You're believing God for a miracle. James tells us that faith doesn't stand alone. The faith is tied actually to wisdom. James teaches us if you need wisdom, and wisdom is, um, I You're very wise. Oh, honey, thanks. You're very wise. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> you wisdom, weren't expecting that, were you? Nope, that came right out of left field. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom is taking knowledge and making uh, a choice and God knows our future. We don't know our futures. In fact, the Bible says that his word is a lamp to our feet. And so I'd love to have like spotlights for my feet, but it's a lamp. So sometimes God just gives us enough to take one step. And the principle that I learned is finish what you've started. And little did I know uh, how that, so wisdom, doing the right thing, doing the wise thing, God knew down the road that that degree would actually bring a miracle into our life. The principles here in Proverbs, and I remember after you sharing with me, I was just feeling like, oh yeah, sure. So you, you know, whatever. You wh thought I was just buying another year to stay home. I thought you were buying yeah. another year to stay home. Little did I know that it was incredible wisdom. Proverbs, uh, Proverbs says this, uh, in chapter 24, 27, it was shortly after you shared that, that I was in prayer and the Lord brought this scripture and said, your wife's wise, you need to listen to her. It says, prepare your outside work, make it fit for yourself in the field, afterward, build your house. And it, it's, it sounds just confusing when you read it that way, but the idea is if um, I was a farmer, I need, to, I need to finish planting the fields and get a harvest, get a crop, to have money so that money would provide for the building of the house. And so there's an order to things. And the Lord really spoke to me and said, you need to finish the degree. There's an order to this. You need the degree. Listen to your wife. Well, it took a few years to find out, but fill in the story because it, it really is pretty profound. So after years of being at different churches, um, we then got called to go across the water. And that was when we entered into Messina. Yeah, God did this incredible miracle to knit our hearts with the church at Messina that would literally change our destiny. Harvest wouldn't be Absolutely. here today if it hadn't been for Messina. Yeah, for Messina and making that 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 juncture. And so we started commuting to the Messina church for a year, and then they asked me to take uh, would I uh, oversee the Christian day school? And Correct. 
And in order for you to oversee that Christian day school and for us to cross well, over what the did border, I need? he needed his degree that he got because he listened to a very wise wife. <laughs> I'll never forget Just filling same. out the paperwork <laughs> for the green card and all of the immigrations. And it was yeah. absolute, there was no other way. There were no glitches. Yeah, there was, it, there was no glitches getting over, but there was no other way. It was as if yeah. my degree was the key into the keyhole that opened up the door for us to go into Messina. Exactly. So, you know, the principle I want to share with you right now is many of us are making decisions even during COVID-19. You're making exactly. decisions about your employment. You're making decisions about really your future that's unknown. God knows your future. He knows, just as I said earlier, that his word is a lamp to our feet. But we only know sometimes one step at a time. Right. And so faith isn't just jumping out. Okay, God, I trust you. Faith has to be linked with wisdom. Faith and wisdom go together. And so I would just challenge you, seek the Lord uh, on every decision you're making and say, Lord, am I making, or I need wisdom for this decision. In fact, James says, don't be ashamed that you don't know. You're not supposed to always know. Ask God, he will grant you wisdom. I think the other thing that was also really kind of cool in that whole story is when we crossed over, I was very pregnant with Ethan. <laughs> very. And God provided, because we were losing our own hip. Right. And God provided for us to be able to come back to Canada and have him. And it was in within days. Remember? It was in days before we were going to lose our own hip because we were now moving into the States. So I just think it was provision after provision around our whole move to the States. Yeah, God's always been faithful with us that when we take a step of faith, He's there to provide. And um, even this example of not just a leap of faith, but faith linked with wisdom. Hey, thanks. Yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know if I've ever thanked you. Uh, I'm so proud of my degree. I'm proud that I have uh, just that interest in biology. If it hadn't been for you, I would have neglected that and left it behind. Thank you. Why don't you pray? Father, I just thank you today, God, that you are the God of provision. God, I just thank you that although we can't see right now um, what's going on around us, God, you are still providing for us. In this time of COVID-19, God, you are still our provider. And even though things may be a little tight right now or we don't know how we're going to do this or where we're going to do that, God, you know. And you have everything under control. And all we have to do is just trust you, Jesus, because you are our provider. You provided for us yesterday, you provided for us today, and you will provide for us tomorrow. Father, I just thank you, um, Lord, for taking care of us in this time. And for all those that are watching God, just taking care of them, Jesus. And yes. we can just trust you and stand on your word, Father, that you are our provider. God, I just pray for everyone today watching, everyone, that's part of our Harvest family, God. I just pray a blessing, and I just pray for even um, a financial blessing today, God, yes. for extra, Father, and, and they won't even know where it came from, but God, you can provide anything if we will trust and believe. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're doing during this time, and we give all the glory to you, Father, because you are the God of provision. In your name we pray, amen. Hey, so don't forget, a decision you make today could be opening the door for your miracle tomorrow. That's Seek right. the Lord and make good decisions. God bless you. Bye, Harvest.